Okay guys, welcome back to a new episode of a new game. Well, not really a new game. We're going to be remaking a game that we've made in the past. Um, and if you have been following this channel from the very beginning, um, you probably will know what the game is. Well, looking at the thumbnail, you probably do know what the game is. So we're going to be making a 2D platformer. The 2D platformer was the original game I believe I started this channel on. Um, we didn't. I think we made one level out of it. It's not that good, so I'm going to go back and remake it, mainly because I really want to make a platformer game, and this is the best platformer tile set that I, that I can find on the asset store, and I also don't want to make my own assets for it, because that will take a long time. So today, we're going to do this, but this is not going to be a week-long uh, series. This is going to be pretty... Uh, it's going to be similar to our... What games are we currently working on? It's going to be similar to the... The sliding cube game, the survival island game, and the cube quest game that we have. So instead of just having those three games running that we're currently working on, we're going to have these four games. And then every now and then we will put in a very short game, like the dinosaur game that we made. So today we'll start off that. And then, yeah, like I said, this will go on for a long time. We're going to start this game. And who knows how far we'll get into it. But I want to try and make it so that... It's like a proper game to play. So you start off at on your on your home screen or your menu screen, and then you have menu or your selections, uh, different buttons to do different things. Want to play the game? Want to go into like level selecting? Maybe I don't know if we're gonna do that in this game, but that's an option. Then we we'll also have our options in the actual game to like turn sound down and things like that, change the resolution probably. And then we also need to do the UI for the game. So like in game, when you're playing the game, we want to have a pause menu as well as a com level complete menu uh, and then just different things will implement most of the enemies that i think this tile set comes with it comes with a few so that is the plan at least who knows how far we'll get into this game um we might forget about it like we did with the tetris one which we still need to get back to but we'll start it off by simply working on some of the simple things like probably the animations for today so let's jump into it and get started so this is the tile set that i was talking with talking about so this tile set unfortunately is a paid asset so as you can see it only costs about 15 euros so because this is a paid asset it's not going to be going on github not that i have been putting the other ones on github because i always have a problem with that but yeah, like I said, this is a paid asset, so it's not going to be going on GitHub, so that you won't be able to download this asset for free, because I can't do that to this guy. Can't give his assets away for free, although he has got some other assets that look quite cool. Interesting. Okay, but anyway, this is the asset that we are going to be using. You can see some of the animations. I don't know if this shows us. Let's see. This is probably a like a demonstration. No demo one so this is a demo of the game so we will have levels like this they're not going to be exactly the same because we'll make them ourselves but we'll have different enemies uh, we'll have different levels to the actual level if that makes sense so you can go up and down platforms uh, we'll have collectibles so i think this this game comes with coins or something that you can actually collect if not then we'll scrap that and just have things that you can break so yeah, so it does come with coins, so we'll add those in as well. It comes with the boxes, like you saw the demo guy was hitting, so we'll put that in the game as well. It comes with different things like spikes. We'll implement all of that. Let's see what else it comes with. Um, it comes with different theme levels, so you, here you have, which I think is kind of like an icy, icy colored uh, level. This is like a more as like a dungeon I think level and then you also also have your outside grass level uh, you have your caves as well like this inside the caves with the blue background I don't know what that's supposed to look like and then you have a snowman so this was an icy level but yeah and then we have all of our UI so we're going to implement all of more well, try and implement all of that and see how far we get we have all these different icons uh, and then yeah so today we will start doing that. So let us go and open that up in Unity. So I've opened up a brand new project in Unity. It's just a normal 2D uh, empty project. So we'll start by implementing or importing the that asset pack. So let's go to package, ma package manager and then look for it. 2D, where is it? Oh, 
It's probably easier if we just search for it. So this is going to be called, what is it called? Oh, it's just called 2D Platformer, that's helpful. 2D Platformer. Maybe it's at the bottom, no. Actually, maybe if I just open it from the Unity website, it should open straight away. So open on Unity. Then we shouldn't be able, we shouldn't have to, here it is. Okay, so this come, this is the right one, although we don't have the buttons here. Okay, so just download that. They've changed that. Button used to be down there. That's fine. So in today's episode, I think what we'll start off with is we'll start off with making some of the animations for the, our character, just because that doesn't really involve any code yet. Only when we go and change the animation, depending on what the character is doing. Then we'll write some code uh, and we will also be using most or well, reusing most of the code that we used in the first version just because there's no point in changing it if it worked we'll use it what we'll be doing in this one is taking it a lot further hopefully and trying to get everything working nicely so once this imports we can go and do that also if you are watching this which i hope you are um if you have any game uh, game ideas go ahead and comment them in down below because i'm struggling to figure out some game ideas hence the remake of this game and also i want some very short games that we can make so that we can just like put them in like every not every week or so like every, once a month maybe that we can just start one and finish it within a few days just like we did with the dinosaur game but yeah if you have any ideas please go ahead and comment them down below so we can make some new games why is this taking so long? Import that. I think I might have to. Quit. No, that's not. That's working. Oh, there it is. This is actually importing. Okay, so here it is. So we're just going to import everything because what we don't need, we'll just delete in the game. And then we can start with the animations. So this is quite a big file, so it does take a fairly, fairly long time. So hopefully it doesn't take too long. But yeah, just have to wait. But for now, let's go to the, what is it? Um, where am I looking? So let's see what games we're working on. We are currently working on the sliding cube. Now, uh, I've run into a little bit of a problem with that game because remember we started working on the gravity of the game, but I haven't quite figured out why that's that's not working because in the official one that I'm currently making like a lot further on in the development process uh, the gravity work is working perfectly fine and it's the exact same way i implemented it in the one that i'm showing you so it's a bit of a mystery in that so we'll figure out eventually but here is our our sample well not our sample but our package so here we have i don't think there is anything in the scene and um, except for What's it called? Um, except for just like the assets and stuff, so you can't actually play the game. So let's have a look and see what they did. So you can see that they've used a tile palette for this to make the game, which is great. That's what we will, we will use because it's a lot easier. Uh, let's go to the scene two and see, or sample two and see. Okay, so that's the cave one, and this should be the icy one, yeah. Okay, so that's cool. We've, we'll do most of that. We'll probably, I don't know how many themes they are. I think there's about two or three themes. So we'll make at least probably one level each for each theme. And then we will uh, like put them all together and then make an actual game. So you can go from one level to the other after you've completed the previous one. So what have we got here? In our sprites, we, oh, let's see. we have our scenes, which we don't really need. So let's go and delete those. 
because we'll make our own scenes. In our sample UI pack, that's I think this, yeah, this is all of our UI stuff. Okay, we don't really need that open, so let's go and see. Let's go to our, where is it? Sprites. Okay, so in here we have our animations. Barrel. Okay, so that's to break it. Okay, so we can implement all of those. Where is our player? What is our player called? Barrel, um, where is it? Torch, assets, sprites, animations, background, enemy, main character. Okay, yeah. Player, climb, I jump. Okay, so here we have all of our different animations that we need to make. So these are just the pictures. So we have, this is for the idol. We have just, I think the player is just, oh no, that's dead. Why? I was wondering why it's falling. So for our idol animation, all it is is our player. I think our player goes up and down slowly. So the frames of the, it's, the game is just going to loop through these images uh, very quickly to make it look like we actually have an animation. So let's go to, where is it? assets scenes sample scene don't save that okay so in our sample scene let's rename our sample scene to game so this is going to be our main theme our main scene in here we're going to do most of our uh game stuff in fact we're going to do all of it except for our menu i think so in our game let's go and create that animation so let's bring up our animation tab Put that in here. Okay, so let's see where is it? Our game. We'll make it a sixteen by nine ratio for now, and then scene. Okay, that's fine. So let us start with our animation. So let's go to our where is it? Our animations. No main character. Yeah. So we'll start with our idol because that's the one we're probably going to be using the most. Actually, no, it's not a running one. It's probably going to be used the most, but we'll start with our idle one. So here it is. So we can create a character by simply dragging this into our game scene. So there's our character. Now, to make the animation, all we have to do is create an animation. Make sure you've got the player clicked, or selected, rather. And then in here, let's create a animation in our... game folder this is going to be called animations and then this is going to be our idle animation so we'll save that and then we can drag all of these into if we can select them all of those into our animation tab and then we should be able to see so if we play that you can see that our animation now our loops or our player loops through those images so it makes it look like it's playing an animation so that's a bit too fast so what we can do is we can move them out so let's select all of them and then just drag them out a little bit and let's see is that better i think that's a bit too fast as well so we'll go to about half a second maybe i suppose that's a little bit better let's go to three five uh, that's a bit too slow maybe about halfway Okay, that's fine. So let's go. Let's just play the game and see what happens. Hopefully that thing doesn't fall down. Okay, so here we have our animation. So that's looking good. You can see our animation is playing on our, our player. So that's good. That's our animation. That's our idle animation. So that's fine. Now we can go and rename this to player. We'll just give it a player tag while we're here. Uh, layer is going to be default, I think. Actually, let's add a layer. And then on this layer is going to, well, let's say player. So whatever the layer is on the player, we can now go and order them so that we can make sure things appear in front or behind it. So depending on like things like in the scene, so for like boxes or like different like collectible stuff, so you want them to be probably behind the player. And then for some trees and different objects in the scene, we probably want them to be in front of them. So we can use our sorting layers to achieve that. So that's fine. We'll leave that like that. So make sure our layer 
player, I'll tag you as player, and then I'll name it as player. So that's fine. Okay, so now let's go work on some of the other ones. So let's go and create a new clip, and this one is going to be our run animation. So we have we should have a run animation. Yeah, we do. So we have some we have some images that we can drag in. So let's select all of them and then just drag them in there. And then this should look this should look faster. Okay, that's way too fast. Let's go and spread it out a bit again, like that. That's a bit too slow. Let's go about half of that. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just round it off like that, maybe. It doesn't really matter as long as it looks like the player is running that should be fine okay so that's our run animation now let's go and create what else do we have we have jump let's go make a jump animation so we'll just drag all of these player four what That's a bit too fast. That's weird. Why does it look like that? Player jump. That's a bit weird. Okay, we'll leave our jump animation. Come back to that later. Let's go and make our climb animation. Create a new one. This is going to be climb. Drag all of these into there and just stretch them out a bit i think it's going to be roughly the same thing and that should look fine yeah that's fine then what else do we have we have a die you can create that one drag all of these in there so we'll keep it consistent and just drag this out to about i think it was 0.3 yeah that's fine and then what else do we have we have a run we have roll do we have roll yeah we do have roll let's go make that Drag all of these in there. Again, we'll bring it out to half a second. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really know what we're going to be using that for, but that looks cool. We'll see what we can use that for. So we've got climb, we've got die, we have idle, we don't have jump yet, we have roll, and we have run. Okay, so those are all our animations. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's good. So now, who knows what animation is going to play when we... Okay, so it's still our idle animation, so that's fine because I think our controller is set to idle unless we go ahead and change it. So if we bring out our animation animator tab, we can see now that we have all of these animations. So we obviously want to have the idle as our entry or our default animation. So whenever we enter the game, we're going to go straight to our idle. And then from there, we can go to our different animations. So we have our climb, we have our jump, then we also have our roll, as well as our, what is it, um, our run, and then also our die. Okay, so now from, we're well, not probably not going to implement this today, but we can Actually, let's go, we'll start it off, but we won't implement it. So we can make a transition from idle to run, and then as well as from idle to jump. Yeah, and then from idle to, yeah, we can go to to die, because it, it, just in case something um, collides with you while you're stationary, you can still die. We can go from idle to climb, and then we can go from, I, I don't know if we can go from idle to run, uh, to roll. We might have to be walking or running to do that. So we'll leave that for now. So when we go from idle to run, what we want what we want to do is we want to go and actually let's do this. Let's go to parameters and say a new float. And this is going to be is running. Okay, so when we go from idle to, to running, we don't want to have an exit time. We don't want to have a fixed duration. That's going to be set to zero. Uh, and then we want to is running to be greater than zero. So whenever 
we are moving. In other words, we're going to be using our velocity for that. So whenever we check, or we're going to constantly check if our velocity is greater than zero. And if it is, then we can go and set the animation to uh, running. When we die, we can create a boolean and say is dead and then from idle to dead to die we can go and do the same thing we don't want all of that set that to zero uh, we can go and say is dead is equal to true so that's fine from idle to climbing we can go and say what are we going to do we are going to we probably have to use a I think we might we might leave that for now until we actually implement the climbing because I don't know what the best way to do that is yet. Uh, what else do we have? We have we have a jump. So from idle to jump, we can go and say is uh, is jumping, and that's going to be a boolean. We'll create a boolean for now. So is jumping. And then I'm just trying to think. Should we make it a boolean or should it be? Yeah, whenever we jump, we'll go and set it to be true. And then we can go and say is jumping is true. Okay, so whenever we go and jump, we will, first of all, we'll know when we're jumping because we won't be on the ground. We'll have a ground check. And then because we won't be on the ground, we'll go and set is jumping to be equal to true, which then we'll know that we should play the jump animation as soon as we make it, because I believe we have not made that one because we had that these weird things over there. I don't know what they are, but we'll go and deal with that later on. So for now, we've now got our, our transition to our running. We've got our transition to a jump, which we won't use yet. We have our transition to our idle. We have a transition to our running. Uh, and then we have a idle to climb transition. Okay. So when we are idle and we go climbing, we don't have to have that. Yeah. So that can be set to zero. Fixed duration. Actually, let's leave the has exit time. And actually, you know, we'll get rid of it for now. And if it doesn't work, we'll go and tick that up. So, so when we go and climb, actually, we haven't done that. I said we'll leave that for now. And then, actually, for rolling, let's just make that transition. And then, to get to our rolling animation, we can go and say. What are we going to use? A boolean or a trigger? We'll set boolean for now. Is is rolling. Okay, and then we can go and set all of this to true. So as soon as our rolling is true, which we'll set when we roll, so we'll detect that by pressing. I think we'll assign a probably a letter or a character key on our keyboard, maybe like an R or something to tell our player to go and roll so whenever, whenever that key is pressed we can go and set is rolling to true and then that should trigger our animation to work so that should be fine now having said that i have never had the best luck in with animations and trying to switch between them but we will try and get that working well if, if there's any if there's any game to get that working it's probably this one because there's so many there's one two three four five six animations we'll try and get that working the best we can but yeah that's going to be it for today's episode so in tomorrow's episode we will actually go and if we're working on this game we or the next episode of this series we will actually go and try and make those uh work or well, not work but they're currently working but we need to go and try and switch between them so we'll get together a platform that we can run on and we'll add some gravity and a ridge body and all of that to everything that we need and then we will go and try and work on the switching between them so when we go and increase our velocity we want to go and play our running animation as well as when we go and press space maybe we want to go and jump if we get our jumping thing to work uh, the climbing will handle later when we've got things to climb on the dying will handle 
later when we can actually collide with something that will kill us as well as the the roll actually we'll probably do the rolling because we don't really need anything other than a key to uh, sort that out but yeah that's it for today's episode so we'll carry on working on this every now and then just like the other three episode series so i think the next episode will probably switch over back to our island game because i want to redesign that completely from the ground up just the way it looks uh, and then yeah we'll probably get back to this one sometime so thanks for watching again if you made this far please go ahead and like the video if you haven't done so as well as subscribe to the channel as well We're trying to get to 200 subscribers hopefully sometime soon but yeah thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode so goodbye